Hi, my name is Sonia with the Student Success Center, and today we're going to be talking about resumes and CVs. Today, we'll be talking about creating resumes and CVs. This video will provide a quick overview of some helpful tips to keep in mind as you're working through crafting yours. Creating your resume or CV is essentially creating your first professional first impression. It's the first thing employers and or institutions will see about you and what often determines whether you will be seriously considered for any position or institution. Having a strong resume and CV is what, at the very least, gives you a foot in the door within the hiring or acceptance process. It is your first professional introduction, so make sure that it is made to be as powerful, thoughtful, and professional as possible. A resume is typically going to be one page, and sometimes two. You want to be sure that you're highlighting experiences that are relevant to the position that you're applying for specifically. And while you do have options when it comes to formatting, the following guidelines will describe how it will typically be done. So typically you will want it to be in black and white with 10 to 12 point font in a standard font such as Times New Roman, and your name will likely be a little bit larger. A CV will be similar, but will include more information. Because of this, it will likely be longer than a page and will only grow with time. CVs are often used in academic settings, including when applying to research programs or universities. A CV will include everything that you've done and will be updated as you gain more experience. While there is flexibility in what you choose to include in either of these documents, here are some key things you'll likely want to include. Education, including your major and any minors or certificates, and you'll also want to include your GPA if it's high. Experience, which is anything relevant that you've done. This could mean research experience, teaching experience, or volunteering experience. Extracurriculars, which can show that you're involved in your community. And you can also include any leadership positions, honors or awards, or skills or certifications that you may have. You also have the option to include a summary or objective in your resume. As you describe what you've done for each point, be sure to include accomplishment statements. These are statements that include an action verb, the project that the action verb applies to, and an outcome. You can see the example on this slide. This type of wording will help show the active impact that you had in your experiences. Writing a resume isn't easy, but the coaches at the Student Success Center are happy to help you out. We're happy to meet you wherever you're at. Whether you're just starting out or need someone to review your draft, we'd love the chance to offer our support. Thanks for watching. Come make an appointment with the Student Success Center today.